Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Courtney and today I'm going to be sharing my top 10 must have craft tools for 2022. Now the list could have been long, so I do have a couple of honorable mentions that I wanna start with, but then I'm gonna take you down the countdown from 10 to number one. Let's dive into honorable mention number one. That's going to be a large silicone mat. I buy all my silicone mats on Amazon. I just find it super easy to buy from there. They have a huge variety, but essentially what the mat does is it protects your work surface. It also makes it easier. It cuts out having to use paper and throw it away. So if you're into recycling, it's definitely a more environmentally friendly option. But what I love about it is I can throw my project down. I can paint. When I'm done working on my project, I simply just wipe the paint off with no issue. Another thing is it protects your work surface from heat, whether you're using your heat gun or a glue gun. If the glue gun falls over on it or drips glue on it, it will keep your surface protected. So first thing I think you should have is definitely a silicone mat. Honorable mention number two is going to be this sculpting tool. Now you guys have seen me talk about it, seen me use it throughout the year. I've actually been using this for quite a while. This was actually my daughter's and I stole it because why not? Um, it's great for this end right here kind of has a curved end on it. And so that's great if you're gluing something like burlap or mesh or something where the glue kind of comes through and you don't want to burn your fingers off. You just press it down and it will help hold the item to the glue. But what I really like on the opposite side of this right here, it kind of has a little hook thing, but it's kind of sharp. So what this, what I use this part for is if I put glue, let's say I'm gluing like a Dollar Tree frame back together and some of the glue kind of oozes out and hardens, this acts as a cutter and I literally can just scrape it across the glue and it'll get rid of excess glue. So this is kind of a dual function little tool. It, like I said, it's just a sculpting tool. I don't know that you can buy this separately, but you can certainly buy it in a sculpting tool set. But you might be able to find it at Michael's and Hobby Lobby by itself. Not sure, but definitely the one that has the curve and the little cutting dip thing here on the end. And the third honorable mention is going to be my curve blade scissors. These are from Fiskars. As you can tell, there's a curve blade. Mr. Cheap, if you know him, he calls them my cheater scissors. I love these because they work great, especially if you're working with felt. If you need a free hand cutting a circle, or if you're cutting around something, you know, if you glued something down and it's circular, these are great to just cut right around it and get any excess fabric or paper or felt, what have you, off. So curved blade scissors, definitely a winner in my book. Now that the honorable mentions are out of the way, it's time to start the countdown. I took some time and I actually tried to rank these from 10 to one. Now some of them could have held the same number position, but if you want to pause this video right now and take a guess down below in the comments what you think my number one tool is going to be, do it right now. Here's your chance. All right, let's start with number 10. Here we go. Number 10 is going to be my Arteza Hobby Knife Ket. All right, it comes in this box right here. Now this little part right here, I simply, this was what was wrapped around the box. I cut it out because it kind of tells you what all the different blades, sorry about the glare, what all the different blades can do, what you should use the blades for. But it comes with this neat little cutting mat right here. And then what it comes with are three different sized housings. Um, I got bored one day, that's why that one's striped. I just painted it like that. And then it comes with a ton of different blades. And like I said, it gives you directions here or suggestions of what to use the different blades for. Super easy to change the blades in and out. And I just like it because you can definitely do heavy duty materials or even light delicate materials. So my number 10 is the Arteza Hobby Kit. Coming in at number nine, this is the only item that cost over $100. It's a little bit of an investment, and that's going to be my Cricut. Now, I say my Cricut because there's three different machines. Which Cricut in particular? I'm gonna put it out there. My favorite Cricut machine is the Cricut Joy. I absolutely just love this machine. It is compact. For the types of projects that I do that are typically on a smaller scale, I feel like this just 
packs a punch. I can get done what I need to. It's got the smart vinyl. You don't need a mat. You can use markers with it. You can make cards with it. And I just feel like this is the best little Cricut machine. Um, I bought this when it came out and I was so excited and I absolutely love using this machine. So if you have the ability to save up for one, um, I would definitely say give the Joy some serious consideration because it is an awesome little machine. Coming in at number eight is going to be my Dremel. So here's the little Dremel that I have. What I love about Dremels, um, first off, is they come with a ton of different attachments. I only really use this Dremel for drilling little holes. Um, now I do have a drill and things like that, but some people just aren't into power tools and that's totally fine. If you're not into power tools, then you need this because it's easy to use. You can quickly change the um, attachments in and out, no problem. It doesn't take up much space and they're not very expensive at all. So definitely worth it for drilling different little holes in your projects. Um, definitely consider getting yourself a Dremel. Coming in at number seven is going to be my Wagner heat gun. Now I do have the honker heat gun, like the, the big one that looks like a hair dryer. I do have one of those. Honestly, I don't use it. I always use this one. This one comes with two different uh, temperature settings. Sorry, let me turn that on. Um, but what I really like about it is it's easy to grip. It's got great gripping, but you can also go hands-free with it. The Wagner in particular, this is their newer model, um, but I've got the old model. It, the old model kind of has the same shape. They just kind of, I guess, rebranded the colors and everything. But like I said, you can put it on your work surface. You can go hands-free. Um, most common, what I use it for is drying paint quickly. But when I use like my metal scraper to kind of help get glue off, I'll just put it on my tabletop and just kind of swipe it over the top to help heat up the metal. Um, but all kinds of things you can do with this. Wood burning, image transfers, uh, crackling paint. So definitely a good heat gun is something you should have with all of your tools. Number six is going to be my Fiskars paper cutter. Now, particularly Fiskars. I've had several different brands of paper cutters and I have not liked any of them. I love the Fiskars one. You can cut large papers just like you can with most of them. But what I really love about this one is right here where you slide your paper in, there is a silver line and it's gonna show you exactly where your blade is going to cut. Most of them just kind of have that little opening and you just try to get your thing, you know, in the opening where the blade slides down. This one will show you exactly the path of the blade. The blades are easy to replace. It's super sturdy. Um, I definitely, this is the best one. I've had it for so many years and the only thing I've had to do is replace the blade like once um, and that's only because I lost the other blade. So there's that. But anyway, uh, love this, the Fiskars paper cutter. It's a must have. Okay, moving in to my number five, that is going to be my little birdie scissors. These are sewing scissors, but oh my gosh. First, they are so sharp, so, so sharp. They will cut anything you wanna cut. Now granted, you're not gonna be cutting these with like fabric, like heavy duty fabric and things, but cutting off little strings or getting a real close little cut to trim off a glue string or even a blob of glue or what have you. I use these so much and I absolutely love them. I mean, you can get them in so many different places and I will make a point to try to link all of the products I'm talking about down below so you can find them and check them out more for yourself. But these little birdie scissors, have got a lot of mileage on them absolutely love these down to number four this is actually it's not actually a crafting tool that you would use but you kind of do use it for your crafting tools <laughs> and that is a tabletop plug like power strip now i showed this to you guys in my craft room and organization tips and tour video i'll link that one down below in case you missed it but this has been a game changer i used to have the power strip under my desk and you know eventually i ran out of plugs and i'd have to unplug something replug something in this just saves you time. It's right there on your counter. You're not bending down and crawling on the floor to unplug things. I keep my heat gun, my glue gun always plugged in, and then I've got like a phone charging cord and the USB. But it's super nice, super convenient, and you just clip it directly to your desk. Really, it is a game changer. Definitely consider getting one. We are down to my top three. Now, these are probably not going to be a surprise to you, but I don't know, maybe they are. So coming in at number three is my tabletop ladybug vacuum. Guys, this thing is a workhorse. Now, this is actually my second one. After five years, my other one died, but that's because 
that last year I was like trying to suck up like big pieces of branches from florals and things like so I pretty much killed that ladybug myself but um it I mean it's for under ten dollars like seriously this thing will suck up glitter fuzz I mean sanding like when you sand stuff I, it sucks up everything it works great and if you have small children, get yourself one of these because make them clean up the dinner table and suck up all the crumbs after dinner. Uh, there you go. You can make your kids like be the table cleaners or counter cleaners or whatever. But anyway, definitely worth the investment for under $10. Um, I'm telling you, it's a workhorse. Definitely worth it. Okay, number two is going to be my Surebonder detail tip, specifically the detail tip glue gun. So detail tip, it's got that tiny, tiny little tip there. But man, like I really, even just for, if I need a lot of glue in places, I still just use this. I love it because you can simply just put a small little dot of glue where you need it, or you can put a lot if you just kind of, you know, squeeze the trigger a little more. But I love that it's cordless. You don't have to mess with the cords and are limited on where you can reach with it. I mean, if you want to get up and walk around and glue things, you could easily do that. This is the Lynn Lily version of the detail tip from Sherbonder. I've also got the regular one, which is their traditional branded black and green one but i'm serious like this right here is a game changer definitely cordless detail tip you gotta have it it is time for my number one the if you don't buy anything else if you don't have anything else that's gonna be miter shears my Gartol miter shears, these things, I swear, are the best things. Popsicle sticks, dowel rods, the wood jingle blocks. I mean, you can cut angles with it. They are they're everything the my most absolute favorite crafting tool you gotta have it are miter shears now i will say um i just thought of another honorable mention that comes close to this and that's going to be my tin snips um kristen k got me started on tin snips i use these exclusively mostly just for florals they cut through that wire so easily so another quick honorable mention but number one guys if you don't do anything else <laughs> get yourself some miter shears all right, there you go. My top 10 plus a few honorable mentions for 2022. You guys are gonna see me using these throughout the year next year when I'm making my DIYs. Now, what I would love to know from you guys is do you have a tool that you would suggest leave it down in the comments let us know so that others can read through there and see if there are any other tools that maybe i didn't mention or i don't know about that other people need to add to their crafting tool stash thank you so much for watching guys i really really appreciate it i got some more videos here that you might enjoy i will see you in the next one bye